In this video, we are going to look at how to evaluate definite integrals and also how to find the equation of the normal to the curve at a given point using question 6 of the 2022 grade 12 mathematics. All right, so part A says evaluate. So they want us to evaluate the definite integral. The limits are from negative 1 to 4. Then the function is 2 plus 2x plus 6x squared dx. All right, so when you look at the terms that are in this functions, we have 1, 2, 3. You have three terms. You can see that these two terms uh, have x's, but this term has no x. So before we begin to integrate, let's first rewrite this function such that this two is going to have an x so we're going to rewrite this as a um, so the integral the limits are from negative one to four then let's give a two an x so we're going to have two x to the power zero from the laws of indices any number to the power zero is one so here we have one one times two will get back the two there so we're going to have plus two x uh x same as it is to the power 1 plus 6x squared dx. Alright, so this and this are just the same. Alright, so what do they mean when they say integrate? So to integrate means you're going to add a 1 to the power and then divide this the every term by the new power. So what I mean is you're going to have 2x to the power 0 plus 1, then divided by the new power, which is 0 plus 1, then plus uh, 2x to the power 1, then plus 1, divided by the new power 1 plus 1, then plus 6x squared plus 1 over the new power 2 plus 1. Then the limits are from negative 1 to 4, so negative 1 to 4. What is needed is for us to simplify this and then replace the, the limits. So we're going to have 2x to the power 0 plus 1. So 0 plus 1, we're going to have x to the power 1. x to the power 1 is same as just x, so meaning we're going to have 2x over 0 plus 1 is 1, then plus uh, 2x 1 plus 1, so we're going to have 2 here as a power Divide by 1 plus 1, the new power, which is 2, plus 6x to the power 2 plus 1 is a 3 over 3. Then the limits are from negative 1 to 4. So 2x divided by 1 is just 2x plus, then these two, these twos are dividing, they, are, they will cancel like that, then you have x squared plus uh, 6 divided by 3 is 2, then x cubed, and the limits are from negative 1 to 4. So at this stage, first of all, replace the upper limit everywhere where there is x in this function. So meaning we are going to have 2, then x here will replace the upper limit which is 4, then plus x will replace the upper limit which is 4, then squared plus 2, uh, 4 cubed. Then everything we are going to put in brackets like this. Then minus the same function. Now we are going to replace the lower limit everywhere where there is x in this function. So we are going to have 2 uh, times the, the lower limit which is negative 1 plus uh, x negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 cubed. We are here. Then everything in brackets like this. All right. So now let's begin to simplify. Okay. We are going to have 2 times 4 is 8, plus 4 squared is 16, then plus 2 times 4 cubed is 64, minus... 
2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Then plus, because negative 1 squared is a positive, so we're going to say plus 1. Then negative 1 cubed is negative 1 times positive 2. We are going to have negative 2, like this. Then here, 8 plus 16 is 24. Then plus 2 times 64 is 128. Then minus negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Negative 1 minus 2 is minus is negative 3. So you're having something like this. All right. So 24 plus 124 is 152. Then negative times negative, it will be positive, so you have plus 3. Then 152 plus 3 is 155. Right? So, which means you need to conclude now and say, therefore, the integral, the definite integral from negative 1 to 4 of 2 plus 2x plus 6x squared the x is equal to 155. So this is the answer. If you are with me up to this point, it means you are enjoying what I'm doing. Why can't you subscribe, hit the like button, comment, and share. Alright, B says, find the equation of the normal to the curve. Y is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 4 at a point 2 comma negative 6. So B they want you to find the equation of the normal to the curve y is equal to x squared minus 3x minus 4 at a point 2 comma negative 6. Alright, so how do you find the equation of the normal when you are given the curve and a point? So first of all, let's make a simple sketch. When you look at x squared here, x squared is positive. So meaning this curve is opening up like this. All right? So this is the y-axis and then this is the x-axis. So let's locate these points. So we're going to assume that 2 is here and then we're going to assume that... Uh, negative 6 is here so that this point is here 2 comma negative 6 all right so they want you to find the equation of the normal to this curve at a point 2 comma negative 6 which is here so first of all for you to find the equation of the normal to this curve you need to understand that the tangent to this curve and the line of the normal meet each other at 90 degrees. So, meaning we are going to draw a tangent to this curve, like this, touching only at this point. Okay, so this is the tangent. So the tangent, this tangent and the line of the normal meet each other at 90 degrees. So, we are going to assume that this is the line of the normal and they meet each other at 90 degrees so this is the uh, the normal this is the normal so the most important thing to understand is that the tangent of the curve and the normal the line of the normal they all meet at 90 degrees like this now what is the first step in finding the equation of this line which is the normal to this curve all right, first of all, we need to find the gradient of this curve by differentiating the equation that we've been given. So, first of all, let's find the gradient of, of the curve, okay? The gradient of the curve. So, we're going to differentiate this equation that we've been given. So, dy dx is equal to the equation that we've been given is x squared, okay? The equation that we've been given is x squared. So to differentiate this, we're going to multiply this power by this term, then subtract a 1 from the power. So we're going to have 2x, then 
to the power 2 minus 1. I'm just showing what is what is going on. Then minus 3x to the power 1 minus 1. Then the derivative of the con any constant is 0. So we just end here. So we're going to have 2x. Then 2 minus 1 is 1. So we're going to have 2x to the power 1, uh, which is just x minus 3x, 1 minus 1 to the power 1 minus 1 is 0, and n number raised to the power 0 is 1. So we're going to have 2x minus 3. So this is actually the gradient, but to find the actual gradient, we're going to use these points that we are given 2 comma negative 6. So the points 2 comma negative 6 are the ones that we're going to use to find the actual uh, gradient or the numerical gradient. So we're going to call this as M1, which is the grad first gradient, gradient 1, is equal to, we're going to replace where there's x here. We just get the x value here and you replace it there. So we're going to have 2 times 2 minus, minus 3. So to find the actual gradient, get the, the x value or the x coordinate and replace it in the uh, e uh, equation that you have differentiated. Okay, so we're going to have 4 here minus 3, which is 1. So the first gradient is 1, or gradient of the curve is 1. The gradient of the curve is 1. So this is actually the first step. Then the second step, you need to find the equation of the tangent okay the second step is to find the equation of this tangent here since we know that we know the gradient of the curve and the gradient of the curve is the same gradient or is equal to the gradient of the tangent so now that we know the gradient of the tangent or of the curve we are going to use this this gradient to find the equation of the tangent so remember the points that we've been given are this we have x and y okay so we're going to use the formula for finding this equation of the straight line which is y is equal to mx plus c to find the equation of the tangent so remember this is at a point 2 comma negative 6 right so where there is where there is y here, we're going to replace the y coordinate here. Where there is y here, we're going to replace the y coordinate. So negative 6 is equal to m. The gradient we found that is 1. So the gradient is 1. Then x, we're going to replace that one My, uh, plus c. Our m is to find the value of c or the y-intercept. Okay, so we're going to have negative 6 is equal to uh, 2 plus c so at this stage this is positive 2 we want to remain with c alone so this is positive 2 meaning we are going to do the opposite of positive 2 we are going to subtract a 2 so that this becomes a 0 what we've done there we also do it here so on the left we are going to remain with 6 negative 6 minus 2 is negative 8 is equal to this becomes a 0 and now a c so c is equal to negative Eight. So after this now, you now, so after this now, you come back to this. Y is equal to mx plus c. So we have y is equal to mx plus c. So this time around, you are only going to replace the gradient and the value of c that we found. The gradient and the value of c that we found. So we're going to have y is equal to m. m is the, is the gradient which is the, well, positive 1. So here if we replace 1, it's, it's, we're going to have 1 times x, which is just x. So we're going to have y is equal to x. Then c, c we found that c is negative 8. So we're going to have minus 8. So this is the, this is the equation of the tangent the equation of the tangent which is this one here now how do you find 
the equation of the normal. So again, when finding the equation of the normal, first of all, we need to find the gradient of the normal. So this is the third stage. We need to find the gradient. First of all, find the gradient of the normal. Okay? Find the gradient of the normal. This line here. We need to find the gradient of this line here. Alright? So, since in the first place, I mentioned that the line of the normal and the tangent, they meet at 90 degrees. So, lines that meet at, at 90 degrees, when you multiply their gradient, so M1 times M2, you should get negative 1. Okay? But M1, which is the gradient of the tangent, we found that it's 1. So, M1 is 1. So, we just have negative 1M here, M2, because we just, we just replaced here. We just replaced what M1 is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's actually 1. We found it's positive 1. Here, the gradient is positive 1. M1 is positive 1. So, is equal to negative 1. So, 1 times M2 is just M2 is equal to negative 1. Alright? So, M2 is negative 1. So, at this stage, we also come and use the formula for finding the equation of the straight line. Y is equal to MX plus C. So, our M should do, be finding C, what C is, the Y-intercept. Okay, so remember, remember we are still using the point 2 comma negative 6. Okay, this is X and this is Y. So where there is a Y, we are going to put negative 6. So we have negative 6 is equal to the gradient, the gradient we found negative 1, so the gradient is negative 1 times X, X is 2, then plus C. Alright, so we're going to have negative 6 is equal to negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 plus C. Okay, so this is negative 2. Our aim is to remain with C, so we're going to do the opposite of negative 2, which is plus 2, so that this becomes a 0. So what we've done on the right, we also do it on the left, so that the equation remains the same, or it remains balanced. So, negative 6 plus uh, 2 is negative 4. Is equal to, this becomes a 0, is equal to C. So, meaning C is negative 4. Okay? Now, we come to this formula for finding the equation of the straight line again, which is Y is equal to MX plus C. So we have y is equal to m, which is the gradient. The gradient, we found that it's a negative 1. So negative 1 times x will be negative x. Then c, c we found that it's, it's uh, negative 4. So c is negative 4, so we're going to say minus 4. So this is the equation of the normal. So this is the equation of the normal here right thank you very much for watching if you are new to this channel please consider to subscribe hit the like button comment and share